Hello everyone and today we are going to start a new series on birds of India and my name is Punishmi Rao from Ambika Prashad Research Foundation India and today's session is on some common bird, water birds of India. India is a home to multitude of birds which occupy a variety of habitats from wetlands and coasts to forests and deserts. Indian wildlife has its fair share of native birds along with the migratory birds. India is a global birding hotspot with over 1250 bird species. Rivers, lakes, ponds, marshes and coasts are some of the aquatic environments that provide a suitable habitat for numerous bird species. Aquatic birds are simply called water birds are those species that prefer to live in or around water bodies and are well developed to this environment. Unfortunately, nowadays birds face serious threats due to anthropogenic activities such as pollution, habitat degradation and hunting. So we will uh, study about some common water birds. First one is lesser whistling duck. Dendrocygna javanica, it belongs to family Anatidae. They, they are the uh, ducks which are brown to pale brown in color, have scaly pattern and chestnut color on wings and produce whistling sound in flight. So they are called whistling duck. The habitat that they belong to are flooded grassland, freshwater marshes, lakes, ponds, flooded fields, and marshes with good vegetation cover. According to IUCN status, they are least concerned. Their feeding habits are grass, small fish, frogs, insects, mollusks, worms, and cranes, especially paddy. They are nocturnal feeders. They rest during the day on the banks and feed during night. The breeding season is during monsoon and rainy seasons. The nesting habit, normally the nest they make on the ground and the clutch contains 7 to 12 eggs. Both the parents take turns to incubate the eggs. Reddish, reddish duck, Tadorna ferrugenia. This also belongs to Anatidae. These birds are fairly large and the male is rusty brown in color and the head is paler. During breeding, the male have a black neck collar and the female birds have white patch on the face. Their habitat is normally ter terrestrial, large wetlands, open lakes and rivers, sandy islands, salt lakes, rivers with mud flats and shingle parks. According to IUCN, it is of least concern. The feeding habits include roots, shoots, birds, grasses, leaves, seeds and stems. The breeding season is from April to June. They make their nest on cliffs in burrows, tree holes or crevices. They lay about 5 to 15 eggs. Mallard Anas platyrinchos. They belong to family Anatidae. The male has a bright yellow beak or bill. They, are, they have dark green head and purplish chestnut breast, mainly grey body, pale grey belly and black rear end. Female have brown speckled plumage, dull brown and orange bill. Their habitat is freshwater and saline wetlands, freshwater marshes, reedy areas of lake ridge edges, estuaries, swamps, and open sea. According to IOCN, it is also of least concern. They are omnivorous. They feed on small fish, mollusks, crustaceans, insects, aquatic plants, seeds, roots, and tubers. Their breeding season is October and November. The nesting, the female starts laying eggs 
about 8 to 12 eggs in the spring and take care, takes care of the hatchlings. The nests are on the ground and concealed among vegetation. Northern Pintail, Anas acuta. This also belongs to family Anatidae. The male is, is larger than female. Male has the central tail feathers in uh, that are pointed and elongated giving rise to the name pintail. They have a white stripe running from the back of the head down to its neck and the head is chocolate brown in color and the underside of the tail is black. They have an attractive gray color body and uh, they also have gray, brown and black patterns on the back and sides. And the female has uniform buffish head and gray under, uh, underparts during flight. The habitat includes wetlands, agricultural fields, tundra, sheltered estuaries, freshwater marshes and brackish lagoon. According to IUCN, it is also of least concern. They normally feed on seeds, aquatic plants, tubers, roots, shoots and grains. Mostly the ducks are, are herbivore, are vegetarian. But during breeding, the birds sometimes feed on insects, crustaceans, mollusks and other aquatic invertebrates due to the requirement of protein. The breeding season is from April to June. The nesting habit includes making nests on the ground hidden in vegetation. They lay about nine to seven to nine eggs. The female incubates the eggs and takes care of the young ones. Red crested pochard, Netta rufina. It also belongs to family Anatidae. The Species is considered as a link between dabbling ducks, anatinae, and pochards, aethainae, and the male have a round reddish brown chestnut head, pinkish reddish bill, and black breast. The flanks are white and the back is shades of brown, and the tail is black in color. And the female is pale brown with darker back and crown. The face is whitish in color. The habitat that they belong to are large open water bodies, lakes with well submerged vegetation, lagoons, estuaries, and sheltered coastal water bodies. According to IUCN, they are of least concern. They feed by diving or dabbling on aquatic plants, roots, shoots, tubers, sheets, and grains. They actively feed during early morning and evening. Breeding season is from mid-April to early June. The nesting habit include making nests on the ground near the water edge among thick vegetation. They lay about 8 to 12 pale green eggs. Gadwal, Merica strepera. They also belong to family Anatidae. The male are larger than female and the breeding male has patterns um, on the wings. The patterns are of grey with chestnut color mixed in it and they also show the speculum feathers are of brilliant white vis visible during flight uh, as well as in resting. The rear is black. Females have patterned brown plumage. And the habitat is open wetlands, grasslands, freshwater marshes, lakes with abundant emergent vegetation and slow flowing waters. According to IUCN, it is of least concern. They feed on aquatic vegetation, weeds, sh seeds, shoots, roots, tubers, and leaves. The breeding season is from April to May. 
they make their nest on the ground far from water little grip tachybaptes ruficollis they belong to family podis podisi pedidae they are are the smallest in their family and uh, they belong to the habitat of wide they, they have a wide range of habitat of normally small and shallow ponds lakes rivers reservoirs and wetlands according to icn they are of least concern the feeding habits include insects larvae small fish crustaceans beetles and snails they breed during rainy season the nests are on the water's edge preferably among thick vegetation they lay about 6 to 7 eggs and soon after hatching the young ones leave the nest and start swimming sometimes the parents are seen carrying the young ones on their backs great crested grebe they also belong to podicipedidae family and it is podiceps cristatus the they are the largest among the grebes and they have a distinct breeding plumage and they show a distinct courtship also during breeding both the males and females have sim- similar plumage the head has a black cap ending in an erectile crest and the juvenile birds have distinctive white and black stripes on the head they are found near shallow water bodies with vegetation like open lakes reservoirs and salt pans according to icn it is of least concern they are excellent swimmers and divers they dive to catch prey and feed on fish crustaceans mollusks and insects the breeding season is from april to july they make their nest on the water edge or on a floating pa- platform the clutch usually contains 2 to 4 eggs asian open bill anastomus ossitans they belong to family siconidae and they are quite large wading bird of stork family it is grayish white in color with glossy black wings they have four black tail with purple or greenish sheen the lower and upper man- mandibles are arched towards one another with a gap between them and this is the identifying feature of asian open bill the gap between the uh, mandibles the younger birds do not have the gap the mandible is grayish with brush like structure in the cutting edges and um, which helps them to catch the prey easily and the gap between the mandibles are for easy catching of snails they feed on apple snail and which are quite of large size so uh, the mandibles help them to hold that big snail between uh, their mandibles to uh, easily feed on them and the relatively short legs are grayish or pinkish in color the main feed is apple snail they also feed on fish crabs and frogs they are seen foraging in flocks in wetland marshes and ponds the breeding is from july to september in northern india november to march in southern india the nesting habit include making a platform of nest on half summer trees they may lay 2 to 4 eggs both the parents take turn to incubate the eggs oriental darter anhinga melanogaster they belong to the family anhingidae they are the large birds weighing are about 1 to 1.8 kg the bill is long of about 7 to 8 cm they have wettable feathers and are often 
seen perched on rock or tree branch holding the wings open for drive they have long slender neck the neck also forms um s shaped curve and uh, is seen like a, it resembles a snake so it is also known as snake bird the crown and neck are brown darkening downwards to become black in the body plumage the wing coverts have silvery streaks along the shaft there is a pale line over the eye and throat and a line runs along the sides of the neck the iris is white with a yellow ring around it the breeding birds have darker gray tarsi and toes with yellow webbing the tail is long and made up of 12 stiff feathers the habitat includes freshwater habitats like ponds lakes swamps reservoirs and slow moving streams according to iucn it is nearly threatened bird and the feeding habits include mainly fish and they steer the prey under water with its long pointed bill and brings it above water and tosses it into the air before swallowing this is a unique character of feeding that is found in oriental darter the breeding season is from june to august in northern india april to may in southern southwestern india and during winter in southeastern india they construct platform nests with twigs from tree branches and the clutch usually has 3 to 6 spindle shaped bluish green eggs habitat loss human activities near breeding habitats degradation of foraging areas hunting and pollution are the main threats for their decline in population so to conserve these birds we have to conserve their habitat the environment and we have to stop polluting our environment to save our earth also thank you